In today's video, we're going to look at how we can actually use Photoshop and an online service to upscale photos and images. So Lightroom is the quickest and easiest way to actually use this feature. So we're actually going to go, once you've opened up Lightroom, you want to go in and add a photo. And I've got something just here, which is a, an image. It's only 640 by six, sort of 640 pixels wide, so it's not very big. If I open it up and add it in, so you'll see if I zoom in to say 400%, it's a bit pixelated. So we're going to see how well Lightroom handles the enhance. So we're going to right click and go to enhance. We get our interface, so we can compare the difference and we click enhance and just wait for a moment for it to go through. And sometimes it kind of stares blankly at you a little bit, but if I click, I've clicked on uh, just now on the left here again, and it's brought up two images and if I fit 100%, we can see one is distinctly larger than the other. And while it's not perfect, it has done a pretty good job. It actually looks pretty good on the screen where it's actually increased the resolution and increased some of the detail. So it's actually not too bad. So if we want to save this image, if we want to save this image from Lightroom, we can right click and go export one photo to JPEG large. And that way you can actually save it as a JPEG to use at another time. But uh, if you don't have Lightroom or you'd rather just use Photoshop, there is another way that you can do this. So in Photoshop, we need to use the camera raw filter. And the only way we're gonna be able to get that to work is if we actually activate a setting first, which is we need to go into edit and down into preferences and then over to camera raw <laughs> and open that up. Now I've got two monitors, so it's popped it on the other side over there. Now, when we bring this up, we wanna go over to file handling and where it says JPEG, we wanna be able to say automatically open all supported JPEGs. And you can do this with TIFFs as well, but I'm gonna click okay. So now if I open up a JPEG in Photoshop, I'm gonna be able to use the enhancer. So I go to open and I've got the same photo here. I've just searched for, I'm gonna click open and you see we have that same interface again. So we can right click and go to enhance and we get the same, same feature as before. We click enhance and there we have our two images Yeah, so the one on the right, it's a fit of 54%. That is the larger image. So we can get 100% so we can zoom in and see the difference. And then simply click OK when we're done with that one to open. And it will open, open directly into Photoshop. Now, the other tool is actually not Photoshop, but an online website called Image Larger. Uh, I'll pop a link to that in the description below. But you can get a free account and get a number of images done for free, which is pretty cool. So uh, what you do is you log in, sign up, and you hit, hit select images, and you find your photo. And we're gonna actually, Photoshop doubled the size of the images before. This is actually going to quadruple the size of the image. So we do that and we click start, and then we wait a few minutes for it to go through. And now we can download the image. It'll open up in a new browser, browser tab, and I'm gonna file, save as. And let's pop it into Photoshop and compare the two. Okay, so this is actually the Photoshop enhanced version, which doubled the image size, but we're gonna check out the difference between that and image larger, which quadrupled the size, which if you have a paid plan, it'll also actually eight times the size. So you can see the difference already. It's even looks a little bit more vibrant. And if I zoom right in on the eyes and area there, you can see, now this was a small photo to begin with. So it's not gonna look great, but when you compare it to image larger, this is the Photoshop upsize version, this is the image larger version. It's actually sort of artificially added in hair and texture so that you get this uh, really, really cool looking image. So this image was 640 by 640. Look at the detail, the texture of the lips, the earring. It's guessed a lot of these things, obviously. It can't create detail, but it's used artificial intelligence, AI, to determine that image. So once again, we switch back. It's a bit more pixelated. Whereas Photoshop tends to uh, sort of work, I think, with the image, this one tends to actually introduce uh, various factors or various imagery into it in a sort of intelligent way. So very cool service. I'll link to that in the description below, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's what I have for you today, how to actually increase the size of your photos. Now, Photoshop does have a good feature, but image larger is amazing. And I do believe the paid plans are not super expensive. So check that out if you can. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you again soon.